welcome to Retro Crisis. One of the great things about Game Boy emulation is you no longer have to worry about playing on a small, dimly lit screen which has ugly green monochromatic graphics and blurry animation. And you also don't have to worry about your batteries dying on you. However, thanks to the power of emulation, you're able to play classic Game Boy games in crystal clear clarity on a large screen display of your choosing. But what if you wanted to play your old Game Boy games with that authentic ugly green screen and the blurry animation? Well, you can, and this is how it's done. Firstly, load up RetroArch with a Game Boy game of your choosing, and then press F1 to go to the quick menu. And then go down to shaders, and then go to load, and then choose your default shader directory. So on your machine, it could either be shaders underscore GLSL, or shaders underscore slang. And then go down to the handheld folder. And the first shader I recommend you try is this one over here, Game Boy. This shader allows you to recreate the original DMG hardware. So let's give it a try. Just press enter and then press F1 to go back to your game. And now you can see we've got that authentic shade of green that the original DMG hardware was so recognized for. And if you look closer, you can also see that the screen is made up of a dot matrix pixel grid display, just like the original Game Boy. And if you look closer at the water animation, you can see that each pixel has a low refresh rate, which causes the ghosting effect seen on the original Game Boy hardware. For me personally, this shader brings back a ton of nostalgia. However, if you wanted to recreate the Game Boy Pocket or the Game Boy Light screens, you're also able to do so. So if you press F1, go back to load, and go up to Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Light, and go back to your game, and now you can see the original black and silver display from the Game Boy Pocket hardware, complete with the dot matrix display and the ghosting effect. There are loads of other shaders in that handheld folder, so please feel free to try them all. I've just shown you two that I thought were very good. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.